What is going on everybody? Today we are going to be doing two things, but it's going to be two separate videos. This video is obviously the one for the the Gen 2 Transformer thing that does stuff with the transmission and gives you everything that the Taser gets, but it's better because it's the same price and you get a transmission tune, which these nag ones, they need it. And it gives me the opportunity to spend more time on tuning the actual ECU than having to dabble around with the TCM. If this is your first time watching this video, or not video, because you're watching the video, but if this is your first time watching this YouTube channel, this is my 2012 Dodge Charger RT that I currently race here in Germany on the Hockenheim ring and the Nuremberg ring, which I will be doing another video on that, trying to break my time of 10 minutes and 55 seconds on the Nuremberg ring, not on the Hockenheim ring. That would be really, really, really slow. Anyways, let's get this thing started. Uh, I got a box full of parts right here. Boom. Uh, first things first, we're gonna need to, you don't, you don't really need to, but I do it. I think it's smart, it's safe. It's always safe to do it. I'm gonna disconnect the video, not the video, because this is the video. I'm gonna disconnect the battery. Um, so that's super simple. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because if you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be doing anything. Just kidding. Everybody needs to learn and start somewhere, but I'm not going to waste your time and I'm not going to waste my time by filming it. Then what we're going to do is we're, then what we're going to do is we're going to be taking off this side panel right here so we can drop this bottom panel down and start hardwiring in the transformer. All right. So if you watched my unboxing video, you already know what comes in this. However, I'm going to show you again anyways. So let's open the box. Ooh. And there it is. So I have already gone online and programmed the trans tuner, which is this bad boy right here. You got your USB cable that allows you to get onto the software and actually tune it if that's what you want to call tuning. Uh, you got a plastic bag because, you know, safety, I guess. Uh, you have your connector and you have your taps, which I'm not a fan of these. However, I'm going to use them anyways and then eventually rewire it all together. All right, now that we got the battery unhooked, it's time to pop this bad girl off right here. So you just want to insert the tip and just uh <laughs> you know what i'm saying all right after uh spitting on the tip and really shoving it in there uh it is good to go so be, you don't have to be gentle but just kind of like pop it it should have three clips that come out and if i break my shit because i'm holding the camera i'm gonna be pissed Oops. and just keep on uh, prying it. I actually have pry tools, I just don't have it with me. And boom, there it is. Got your little duck. Go ahead and pull this bad girl out. Don't need that where we're going. And a little hole there. I'm gonna take this screw out and this screw out and then this whole thing is going to fall downwards just like this. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, An eight seems good. Let's try that. Well, the eight is too big. It was too big. Today's episode of words that I've never heard in my life or been told, it's too big. So let's try a smaller one. All right, so the seven millimeter is the go-to. It fits just fine. Let's get this bad boy off. All right, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it right about here, and you're gonna pull straight out, releasing the clip that's here, and uh, same process over there. All right, boys and girls, so this is your TCM. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but there are two plugs. There's a plug here and here. So what you need to do is you need to use both hands, which I can't do at the moment, and un plug this one and this one so let me do that real quick and I'll be right back 
All right, so now that you have both connectors unconnected, <laughs> you're gonna take the left one, which is this one right here. It only has two wires. Um, I'm gonna peel back this tape, fabric stuff, and we are going to put the first tab in the black wire with blue stripes. So let me go ahead and get this crap off and we can get, uh... all right, you may not be able to see it, but there is a blue little stripe on that. You can barely just see it. This is the one you want to get your tap connector hooked up to. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get this factory electrical crap off. Um, and just so you guys know, there is a way more professional and better way to do this instead of using these little taps. To be completely honest with you, I am not a fan of these. However, this is what I got right now, and I do not have time to rewire this bad boy. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put it here, you close the cap, and then you squeeze. And what it does is it goes through the, the wire, and then it makes a connection. So you can just plug and play. Super easy. Um... However, there is still a better way to do it. So, uh, after struggling to get all this tape back, and it is a struggle, let me tell you guys. I need, or excuse me, I finally found these two wires that need to get uh, tapped. So, you have your right connector, which is here, and then you have a sub connector, which is this little guy right here. And you're going to tap both of these wires. You're also going to come in here and find number 36 and number 37 to tap into, and uh, I haven't got that far yet. So let's get these two tapped in, and then we'll try to figure out these ones. Alright guys, so this is a very important part. It's very hard to find the correct wire. There's nothing on the internet, no diagram that I could find. So what you need to do is you need to slide this piece off. So, as you can see on the actual points, it has it uh, numbered, I believe it's like 12 through whatever it might be, 38 or some 40 maybe. And then you're going to slide this puppy off. Set the camera down. You can take it, and you slide it. Alright. Still want to keep this, throw it on the ground for right now. Fuck it. Oops, pardon my French. But then you have the actual pins, the numbers probably can't see them but they are there I promise there you go you can see them so you need to find 36 and 37 uh, and I believe 38 and you gotta pin those alright so once you have these wired up now you need to follow your harness to your OBD2 sensor which is where you would put the taser or in my case, I put I use my HP tu tuners right in here. You're going to pull the red wire with green stripes out, and you're going to tap that too. All right, so now that you got all these wires tapped and ready to go, there are two final wires that you need to get. Now, on this kick plate, you have a little connector thing. I don't know what this is, to be completely honest with you. Slide it out. And you're going to be looking for the gray, which this is the gray one. You probably can't see it. That's gray. And then the white. You're going to tap these two ones next. All right, guys. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Black goes with black. That is your ground. Red goes with red. That's your power source from the OB2. Then these two right here actually allow you to use the SRT pages and the sport track mode whatever the heck you want to call it so orange goes with gray white goes with white then if you move along over here you have some other controls not really sure what they do to be honest with you uh, I think ones like line lock and a few other options such as that green goes with black with purple stripes blue goes with the yellow and then down here to your main connector you have yellow with the yellow tan and the brown with the yellow brown stripe and that's pretty much it the only thing we need to do now is go ahead and take this that we took off earlier 
put it back on here so that we can hook it up back up to the TCM. So let's get this thing done. Now all we need to do is hook the wiring harness to the actual transformer, which I have to go get. We've got the, the Z Automotive transformer. I've got it all hooked up. Now, time to hook this bad boy up and uh, start programming. All right, so we got it up, the box up in there. Um, it's just kind of floppy right now. I am going to secure it. I'm not really sure how. I'll probably just use zip ties, which I'm gonna plug in the battery and we're gonna try to turn this car on and see what the LED says. Because depending on what it does means, means one of two things. Uh, one, either we did it correctly, or two, I'm stupid and I suck at this. And hopefully it's not the second one. All right, so now we gotta start the car and see how it blinks and what does it do. All right guys, so good news is it all works and I'm not stupid, so that's for all you teachers out there that said I'd never amount to anything. All right, so I have made it home um, after the install. I didn't really wanna film me driving back just because I didn't have the correct setup for it anyways. I'm about to take it out right now. I got the SRT pages up, the paddle shifting works. I'm about to go try a line lock and hopefully that works. Uh, but I gotta find a place where I can do it and not get in trouble. Cause that's, you know, I don't need to be in trouble. Uh, but let me flip it around and show you guys uh, the performance pages which is pretty cool. As you can see, it is active. Uh, you got your your times, your G forces. These are really the only things I really wanted it for was the gauges. Being able to see the intake air temps is important. Voltage, very important. Uh, oil pressure is stuck at 100. I still need to do the oil pressure sensor. I have not gotten to that. Um, my only complaint that I have over this whole system is, well, I'll just go ahead and show you right now. All right, so as you see, 131 degrees for coolant temp, right? Well, now, now granted, it hasn't got up in temperature yet, but my temperature gauge will not work. So I gotta figure out that issue. But in the time being, I'm gonna go drive it a little bit and get a few scans, so I'll connect real quick, and uh, I'll let you know how I feel about it. 